It's Thursday, May 7th in the Florida Panhandle. The first stop is this naturalized Venus flytrap site. A few of the flytraps were found to be flowering. There's now four of us poking around in the Apalachicola National Forest looking at plants. Here's what you're hey! To the hey! <laughs> Tiny. Now look at this one with how much um, color there is in the lid of this one. It took a while but we finally found this patch of Saracenia Minor in the western part of Apalachicola National Forest. soil in this bog seems to be a fine sand mixed with a gray clay. This is Pinguicula planifolia, a butterwort with its sticky insect catching leaves. Saracenia citicina was found in flower. These are the spectacular Saracenia flava variety rubricorpora. Saracenia flava is easy to spot, possibly one of the most abundant pitcher plants in the Apalachicola National Forest. What the heck? For crying out loud, these things are everywhere. It's now Friday morning, and these are the unique, brilliant red Drosser filiformis, found only in a small area of the Florida Panhandle. This is what makes the beaches from just east of Panama City to just west of Dolphin Island so spectacular. Just... This entire region is composed mainly of fine white quartz sand. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Makoto Honda and the plants. Like there's only one or two. That's a good picture. Very good picture. At this location, there are Drosser filiformis growing side by side with Drosser tracei and what appears to be a hybrid. Yeah, every aspect is uh, intermediate between this red and green. Here we're looking at hybrids of Drosser filiformis and Drosser tracei in the field with Makoto Honda. Say hi, Makoto. Hi. <laughs> Don't <do it> like <laughs> that. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon and Makoto and I are looking at these unusual large green Saracenia rubras. They reach up to 30 inches tall. What do you think of them? It's amazing. I was surprised to find these Pinguicula primula floors in such good shape less than two months after this area was under floodwaters. This is one of the last species Makoto wanted to see and photograph in nature. Sorry, once I'm done, I'll give you this spot. Probably this is a better spot. challenges to go back without falling into the water. Yeah. Smile! You're on candid camera. No time for smile. <laughs> Look at you! You're going to get really close the color comes out. And I lose it when I back off. Here we're looking at a clump of a natural hybrid of Saracenia flava and leucophila. Saturday afternoon we went to a remote location on Eglin Air Force Base that I knew had one of the better populations of Saracenia rubrigolfensis and Pinguicula primula flora. Wow, look at uh, that! Uh, look at the size of the uh, leaf. It's 
a nice little clump, huh? Yeah, it's really big. Look at this. Wow, but yeah, they're not flowering. They I aren't. Don't, I don't know why we are so lucky yesterday. So many of them are flowering. That's amazing. Some of the Pinguicula primula flora here grow floating on the water. We found a variety of bladderworts here, including these large Utricularia floridana. These are typical Saracenia rubra golfensis with the reddish coloration. They're about 12 inches tall normally, but can get considerably taller in the wet areas. We also found this yellow flowered medium sized Utricularia. It's semi terrestrial and the branches appear to be slightly dimorphic. We weren't sure of the identification of this one. These unusually large Utricularia purpurea are also growing in the pond. The species brown branches make up a good portion of this organic material in the pond. There's at least three or four species of Utricularia growing here. So, Mighty, what do you think of the treasure? It's a fine booty. 